Hey folks, welcome back. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've uh, been on here. Just been really, really busy. Still waiting on other parts, still waiting on all kinds of stuff. But I got the pleasure of working on something today, uh, helping a friend out, and here it is. 67 Mustang 289 variant. I didn't even look. Looks like, I believe it was an automatic. Smell it over. Yeah, she's an auto. And uh, its problem is it's running rich. And I mean, this thing is running richer than Bill Gates. I mean, this bag on down the road. You should have seen this thing. It was just barreling. Well, popped the hood. And uh, what was weird is uh, one of the plugs was, plug wires was off. And there wasn't nothing wrong with plug wires. So I uh, put it back on. Didn't solve it. But uh, the choke, uh, uh, very slow to open up. Like the uh, heater tube plugged up or vacuum source or something like that. And uh, small other issues. So uh, give us a few minutes. We'll get y'all uh, on the uh, tripod and... Uh, We'll start yanking some plugs out. Take a look at those. I say, then I see that you brought water, but if you need water, I got some. Yeah, I'm gonna eventually need more. I didn't think about it. You know, picked up another case of those. <laughs> Well, the one that was uh, disconnected was this one right here. It's like cylinder one. And uh, it was just laying off, and there's nothing wrong with the boot. But I don't know why. He, he couldn't answer it either. But anyway, if y'all can see that, she's uh, pretty rough looking. So, uh, go ahead and uh, take a couple more out. Now, you see how hard it is to get, it's somewhat hard to get these out? Uh -huh. Somewhat hard. Try 351 Cleveland in this engine bay over 428 Cobra Jet. That's what me, I have to do with my dad's. His 68 has a four barrel Cleveland in it. Oh, wow. Yes, we have four barrel Cleveland, and it's actually harder than the 69 Mach with the 420, uh, 428 Cobra Jet in it. That's like no room at all. <laughs> it's, uh, it's something else. I'll tell you that. I feel like you should almost drop the engine to just change the spark plugs. It's something else. And guys, I'm over here talking to uh, my buddy Morgan. He's the owner of this car. And uh, you might hear us talk around a little bit, but it's all about the work, right? It is all about the work. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and uh, get these out. Okay, what I don't have is didn't bring with me. You got a straight, see how that's got a wobble? You got a straight yeah. 13 sixteenths. Guys, as I mentioned, uh, my dad owns a 68 uh, C Coupe, and uh, he had bought it many, many, many moons ago, but it had a four barrel Cleveland in it. And uh, if y'all ever had one with a four barrel Cleveland, you can see why you'd never go back to a 289. Okay, so. I just need just a second. You just need that. Yep. Okay. And uh, I even offered him all matching numbers 289 I had in my possession. Swapped for the four barrel Cleveland and he wouldn't do it. And then the other one that we, we have is a 69 Mach 1 428CJ four speed car. Yeah. I like to call that one my baby. No, which tube, tube is that? It's a the vent system that runs through. Okay. Yeah, it's it's all part of it. It's just that I'm not feeling any heat. Let me go back to this. 
yeah, you know, rinse repeat, they all gonna get replaced. But I do believe the problem will really go find this power mount. But we'll find out. I'll get y'all back and get all these plugs out. I'm back. The owner went to go get some plugs. And I uh, just wanted to show you what we got here. You know, we'll find out. And it was running grossly rich. Really, 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 really rich. Uh, when we first started it up, one thing we did notice is a very, very lazy choke. And uh, I just checked. And if y'all don't know how one of these things work, it's got a... Uh, it's got a primary and secondary. The primary way it's going to heat up is that it sucks air through this hose down to the manifold. And there's a channel in it. And uh, that air gets heated up in that channel. It's pulled back through through this heater tube. It gets pulled across the bimetallic element. And how it sucks it? Vacuum. And you should be able to blow through this. And if there's any obstruction can't blow through it but if you can blow back all the way through there and into uh the carburetor that means it's it's good to go so listen up yep it's not obstructed so uh we're gonna take a look and make sure this is uh just not too tight now the secondary method is to fail is they got the heater hose uh, one thing i did notice is that uh this heater tube we had it running about 10 minutes it never got hot so we got to kind of figure out that why the primary is not working but the secondary with this getting warm here it was actually working another thing i noticed is watch the accelerator pump see it move yeah before it wasn't so some Uber had a spring from here to here, and it wouldn't work. But anyway, that would have been a future hesitation issue. But he went to get plugs. We're going to put plugs in it, and I'm going to try to adjust it uh, just so the flow rate screws on the bottom. I, If it fixes it, happy. But if not, uh, which I don't think it will, more than likely uh, flow level is way, way, way too high, or the uh, power valve in the bottom of the carburetor. So... We'll get the plugs in and we'll see what happens there. But since we're waiting, we'll take a moment to show you this car. Like I said, 67 automatic. It's really clean. It's really nice. And uh, he bought it from an older lady whose husband's really nice. So, uh, yep. But I'm here for one thing that. I'm not big on beautifications. As you can see my car right there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but it's good and clean. The engine, it's a very solid engine. It sounds really good. And uh, people don't know this, uh, some people, but you ever wonder why these engines don't go as long as a fuel injected engine? And I'm gonna tell you what, fuel injected engines nowadays internally are not really built any better than these, just to be honest reason why is that toilet bowl on top right there was the reason why I, these engines generally don't last as long as they feel injected because when those things start running rich cylinder walls pay for it that's why and they run slightly higher rpms because they normally don't have overdrive this begs two reasons hey look swapped over to a, a newer ignition system I hope y'all can hear me okay I uh, forgot my my mic at the house so uh get you back when we get the plugs in and uh get it running and we'll start doing some tweaking see if we can get this thing rolling all right we got the plugs gapped and in and uh i got the vacuum gauge on it right now so it's cooled off a little bit so we're going to test that choke again and it's like 70 degrees outside. It's not a fair fight for a choke, but uh, we're going to do what we can. And uh, all right, Morgan, let's go ahead and start it. Okay. And uh, 
Hopefully we can adjust this out. If not, the uh, carburetor comes off. Just turn it. I've hit it a couple of times, it'll probably start. check the vacuum pants, make sure all that's working too. If you're going to do it, do it right, you know. It runs good, and I, I would leave it for me like it is, but, you know, this guy lives uh, over an hour away from me, and I uh, just want to make sure it's all right. You know, absolutely no warranty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. If something goes wrong, I'll bring you back up. No, you're just going to call me and... No, I'll just, I'll just start talking to you in that... Uh, voice and offer you some uh, extended warranty on your <laughs> uh, somebody actually made a t-shirt of that oh that's funny uh oh it was it's comical love it but driving 25 miles back and forth to work Mm -hmm. Well, 50 miles in a day. Well, mine's over 100 in my truck if I was to do that. So. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and start it up, and uh, we're going to check time. Isn't that 
I can. Woo! Anyway, okay, first thing I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and check back in advance. After I check time and I'll explain what I <laughs> Y'all can see it on camera, but it was, I saw it earlier, it's Mark. And there she is, right on the mark. She's not flopping around, but the wrong time thing. Looks good. Look at that. Like we used to say, you know, it's the people friend scale floating around. And it's a true statement, not the friend scale that we talk about. That's a fish game. But what we're trying to say is, they can be the size or break loose and the size of French scale. Yeah. And they'll, you know, block ports, I mean, block jets, stuff like that. But in this case right here, that uh, flow rate made it really small. And where it's pulling at, pulling from inside the bowl is pretty small. So it could be something floating around in, inside the cargo. Okay. I guess the really only real way to know is breaking the car. Yeah, it's taking Take it apart. And, uh, I mean, that's not a big deal. It's just that, uh, three man, that's not the package chicken. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna go to old school and I'm gonna, I'm gonna suck some trash through. Okay. Here it runs on pretty good. Uh, we're gonna take this thing for a test drive and we'll just see what happens. The test drive uh, revealed a couple of problems that we had. I haven't discussed everything with him yet, but uh, let's took a mental note. But as soon as we got back, I, I had him pop the hood and I was looking around, and a couple things I did notice was the uh, the butterflies on the carburetor. That shaft just wore plumb out, it's just it's all over the place with an idle. It's hard to get it adjusted out, but it, it does all right for right now. He can drive it, it more than he could do before. And uh, no, we did not find a bad power valve. What it was was the, uh, when apparently when I blew through the choke, uh, through the choke heater tube, it blew something out because we let it cool down and then it opened right up pretty quick. So I believe it was just a compound failure of that on top of the, uh, sorry, everything around here is loud. Uh, compound failure so when uh the choke wouldn't open up start to foul the plugs therefore manifold vacuum went down and it's just it's just a snowball effect and the power valve was fine it's just that you know when low vacuum power valve blah 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 so it's just compound because when we change the plugs out and adjust the carburetor it it was really really good another thing the test drive uh showed us that uh i didn't tell him but the uh, kick down is not working 
And uh, I was going to address that, but since we do have carburetor issues and we have decided, well, he's decided, uh, I told him I'd go either route to a four barrel, but he does want to go ahead and put a four barrel intake manifold and everything on it. And uh, when I go to change that out, I'll fix his kick down issue and get, get all that squared away. But other than that, let me get him a little list out here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, everything else seemed to do fine. So, uh, so uh, let me return you back to our little drive here.